Oh my god, this is incredible. Wow, <laughs> these chairs are so good. Wow. Carded Mega Man figures, holy cow. This is amazing, dude. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. No we have a hug over the table. Oh, we'll do it like hug this. over the table. I should just... Stina has no idea that I'm buying these for. We're going to go surprise her. Spencer's behind the camera. We're going to go surprise your mom. Is that cool? Yeah. <laughs> It's my first time ever at the Great Ohio Toy Show here in Xenia, Ohio. People have been telling me about this show for years. Um, I've always done the Kane County, the Chicago Toy Show. And everybody's like, if you like that, you're gonna love this. So I'm really excited to be here, but also I'm set up because I'm with my friends here at Otaku America, um, who are amazing dealers of, man, if you're into the Kaiju and the Godzilla and stuff like that, they got some really, really amazing stuff here at the booth, and they were nice enough to give me some table space so that not only am I gonna be here doing some toy hunting, but I'm gonna be here hawking books, too. And Pixel Dan Major Bendy's, you know? So we're gonna be doing that, but I mean, like, I'm surrounded by seven buildings filled with toys. I don't know how I'm gonna see it all, but we're definitely gonna do our best to look around and I'm gonna bring you guys with me. I do wanna start by showing you guys some of the awesome stuff here at Otaku America's booth. They got some really, really cool toys. Uh, if you're into like the Godzilla stuff or the Safubi stuff or anything like that, very cool. This guy right here really stood out to me yesterday when I was setting up the table. Look at the colors on this. And they pointed out to me that this was apparently a coin parking delivery collaboration. <laughs> It's amazing to see the things that Godzilla they'll collab with. That's why the colors are the way they are. But look at those, that bright blue and the yellow. He's incredibly cool. They got some really cool stuff over here. They've also got a dig bin over here with some lower prices. So if you want some cheaper, look at these guys, man. God, these are so... So cool, all these wacky monsters. I love it so much. I certainly don't know all the names, but they are very cool. What's this one? Oh my gosh, look at that. It's amazing. Yeah, that's right. The Ohio Toy Show, the greater Ohio Toy Show in Xenia. This is a show that many of you have been telling me about for a couple years now, telling me I should come to the show. So I'm so excited that I got the opportunity to finally come here and set up and also do a little bit of toy hunting. And with that said, we're gonna walk around and check some things out. Now, I, I think one thing that is really important to state is that this is a pretty big show. It's on a fairgrounds. It spans seven different buildings. And of course, since this is one of those shows where I also have a table, it was hard to get out and see everything. So you're definitely not going to see everything in this video, but I promise you, we're gonna find some cool stuff because there was so much cool stuff. So this is cool. The Muscle Mega Match game from Mattel. Look at that. Man, I love the artwork on this. Oh, wow. That is super cool. Ah, my buddy Ed from Ed's Retro Geek Out is here, along with Narc and the other guys from the Attic Invaders. I love these guys. Uh, I would expect that you guys are already subscribed to Ed and watching his videos, but if not, you definitely should, because if you like what I'm doing, you're gonna like what he's doing. Super cool guy, so glad to see him. Something got broken, but I, I think- Something got broken, something got I don't broken. want it. You I'm don't want kidding. it? I'm just kidding. I think you just, just kidding. But, but, but like a little dot of super glue on it. I don't know if you have it already or not, but um, maybe you do. So mm. let's start off with like the disappointment. 
But uh, I got you. Oh! I got you one of these little um, turtle fighters. <laughs> oh my god, these are amazing. <laughs> so yeah, but like during the flight. Oh man. Uh, his, his these are the ones. Are these the ones that are on like the card backs that have like the D and D type yeah, characters yeah. Well, on it? it? Is, this one isn't partially D and D, but like Some of Bebop, them. Rocksteady, and April and Shredder. It's so weird. They are the D and D characters, <laughs> and I can never find those on oh, card. Oh man. But yeah. Look at the face on that thing. This is what I used to have as a kid ah, as well. So really? Yeah. Oh my god, that's amazing. So I was like, yeah. I found a couple. I gotta put it on the D and D shelf. For the D &D I guys. think so. And then, oh, I finally got you wow. a Turley fighter a Turley, with Turley the gang. shield. Uh, Turley gang, indeed. Um, oh my yeah, god, that's his. his because he needs a scuba thing because he lives in a volcano Sh oh. and he shot up out of there. I mean, that makes yeah. total the card sense back to is me. In German, yeah, but I, I like deciphered it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that makes complete sense to me. I, I don't. Too. Oh my but, god, that's so cool. Look at the shield. Yeah, I love how you just run around with like their faces on a shield. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's also like the troubles, which are the bad guys in the line. Yeah. So yeah, I'll try finding some. Dude, of those this is things. incredible, man. <laughs> Yeah, super it's nice like a, to see you again. He's a he's a turtle <laughs> Motu guy, right? He's like yeah. a turtle turtle he man. I thought oh. you needed to have one. This is amazing, dude. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. No we no have a hug over the table. Oh, we'll do it like hug this. Hug over the table. I should just come over. That. This is amazing, Ed. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. It's so awesome seeing you again, too, man. Yeah. Are you guys having a good time? You finding yes. stuff? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Uh, the road trip, awesome. I've been, yeah. I've been following you guys, so yeah. that's cool. You should come along next time. I would love to do that sometime. <laughs> that would be so cool. Man, and he surprised me with some really awesome items, and I cannot thank him enough for being so kind to, to show up and bestow upon me these amazing gifts from a faraway land. I love stuff like this, clearly, and if you've been following me for a long time, you know I'm a big fan of the weird bootleggy stuff and, and weird things like this, like, come on, a Ninja Turtles D&D &D knockoff line and a Ninja Turtles He-Man knockoff line? I mean, if those don't speak to me, I don't know, I don't know what does. It's perfect. Ed, you're the man. Thank you, buddy. He's my boy. 55 is actually pretty good, too. No guns with him. I saw from Silverhawks is great. There's like a bunch of... Nugget, I love it, from Rock Lords. Boulder. Some humanoids. Ooh, Ninja. He's got no weapons. Oh, that was great. Cowboys of Moon Mesa. That Migo Spider-Man, broken right foot. 25, it's pretty cool. So this is pretty awesome. Look at this lot of Food Fighter stuff. There's like a whole bag in here. These have gotten pretty pricey, but this is like one of my long time favorite weirdo toy lines. The BBQ Bombers in here, the Fry Chopper, the Combat Carton, which is my favorite vehicle bunch of card backs but they're selling those a lot 430 for everything this is a good way to get a lot of stuff doesn't look like there's any guns or backpacks always missing those accessories oh my gosh this i had one of these when i was a kid you ever seen these before so this little hanging ball and you spin it and the chickens eat you seen this spencer Grandma still has this? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, look. The chickens eat the eat the corn. That's so funny. I had no idea that this they still had this. Broken. That one's not working so good. That's amazing. That's a vintagey classic toy right there. What is this? I'm gonna look at this right here. <sighs> Micro Machines Alien Pitfall. I have never, I have never seen these before. This is wild. Look at the artwork on that too. Alien planetoid with real moving parts. Are they all naked? Okay. That is wild. 
I got 30 on that. Oh, there's that Hills price tag. That is kind of cool. Wow. This is like a wild mixture of stuff in here. Talking turtle. Oh, wow. Mork. That's pretty cool. Oh, very pretty mama. This is Raiders of the Lost Ark. Lone Ranger. Huh. Zebot. Oh, yeah. New kids on the block. <laughs> Some cool little PVC guys back here. Look at Alf. There's a couple of Alfs. Brit Bricklaying Alf for some reason. Because why not? <laughs> Dick Tracy. There's another Alf. Theater Alf. E.T. I love these old E.T. minis. These are good. Sweepy. 12. She's got a skirt and everything. No wings. Uh, just a collectible. A bag of crash dummies. I've got a couple of these at home. I think these are a mixture of like the Tyco ones and the Mattel Hot Wheels ones. <laughs> I like the shiny bags. It's a good way to get attention. <laughs> oh, he's complete. Complete undercover Donnie. Like figs. Hearts. But we got a Power Lords figure in there with Mondo Gecko. Pretty good shape, two bucks. Oh, there we go. Newer Leo Savage looks complete. Oh, this is cool. Parts. It's a good thing. Yeah, there you go. Party wagon parts. People are always missing stuff like that for their party wagon, their vehicles. We got in here, we got Star Trek. Oh, wow. Mystery men. <laughs> now this is pod racing. <laughs> oh, there's more mystery men figures. Look at that. I noticed at the show that there was actually a few booths filled with the 3D printed stuff. Um, this particular booth here has got some really fun designs and you know everything that's been designed and printed is all hand painted and there are some pretty fun items in this booth. What with that? He's 3D printed? Yes and then he, um, he's magnetic so um, you can move his hands and his arms and his head. And... That's amazing. I love the gems on his fist. <laughs> that's yeah so it's cool. supposed to be um, uh, Infinity Gauntlet. Infinity Gauntlet Fisto. I love that green deco, that horde uh, slime pit like deco on Stridor there. But that have to be like a new name, right? Because it's not Stridor, it's not Night Stalker, it's like a slime pit he version. He did have the Fright Zone fist, I had the Fright Zone puppet on his fist. Really? Yeah. Oh, a Fright Zone puppet He's on his fist? Oh, that's cool. So $20. That's rad. Yeah. You can pull him apart and then you Oh, cool. Then he moves at the waist and then his head moves. That's rad. Then I made the horse bigger, but he's supposed to be like the fright zone, and then I gave him the um, Decepticon logos. Oh wow! Yeah. But he <laughs> a had the fright zone fist, but That's she cool. was like, "Sell the fist if somebody wanted it." And I was oh. like, well, it She's like, "But it, you'll be alright. It's bigger than the fist." That Mad Ball that I'm looking at right there is pretty sweet, and it's so funny because as I'm done filming it, I turn around and behind me is. Froggy Flips, another popular YouTuber doing the toy hunt thing that I'm sure you guys are already watching. This was my first time meeting him in person and uh, what a gentleman he was. He picked up that mad ball and you probably saw it in his video already. So shout out to Froggy. Uh, man, hopefully we get an opportunity to meet and do this toy hunting thing together again at some point. Wow, what even is that? That is wild looking. 
Oh, I love this vintage Nintendo. Nintendo case. Oh, there's some. My pet monster handcuffs. Talking Alf. This booth right here is got to be one of my favorites at this entire show. And the fun thing is this particular dealer ends up at a lot of the shows I'm at. He was at Retro Toy Con in South Carolina. I heavily featured his booth in my toy hunt from that show. Um, and he always brings it. And some of the items in this booth will, I mean, just take a look at this. Thank you, I appreciate it. Whatever it is, I love it. Not articulated. Yeah. Cool. So there's no movement in them, he just... Oh, yeah, wow, that's really light. I wasn't expecting it to be such lightweight. Now I gotta look it up, figure out exactly what that is. That is so cool. Oh, man. So, I wanna... Crazy. <laughs> so this is how... This is the level of collecting uh, that we need to start getting into, right? This is a Ninja Turtles kid's bed. Look, it's a full bed, bed frame. And there's a boxed one down here so we can get it mint in box. <laughs> this is insane. I love the way you decked it out too with the sleeping bag and the sheets and the pillows. Like you just did the whole thing. This looks like a old JCPenney catalog or something right here. <laughs> That's so cool. This booth has really got some incredible stuff going on over here. Look at the, the Gumball Bank, Ninja Turtles Gumball Bank. We got the safe target game. This is so cool. This is a sandbox with vinyl cover? That's, what? Okay. <laughs> I know we got a lot of Thundercats collectors and fans watching too. So this is a really good collection of stuff here. So I, first of all, Mummer's Tomb is a great play set, which is incredibly cool. But look, look at this. The Thunder Tank, vintage Thunder Tank is over here. So many, like, I don't see a lot of the vehicles out and about. Look, burbles. We got burbles down here. It's pretty great stuff, man. Also, a pencil case. <laughs> There's one thing for sure, and that is that I'm seeing a lot of stuff that are actual items that I've been hunting or what I would love to add to my collection. But a lot of this stuff is top dollar stuff at this point, it's more expensive. So seeing it is always exciting, except that I've always got this like balance going on of like, how much money do I really wanna spend? I'm also set up here and I'm selling stuff, so I'd like to come home with a little bit of cash. I don't wanna just turn around and blow it all on, on this stuff. And I'm also trying really hard to stay focused on the items that I truly wanna collect. It is hard to do that at a place like this. Okay, so this is really incredible. This amazing collection of Remco AWA. Like these were so well taken care of. Look at this, they all come with their card backs and they got the flyers. He says they got like interviews and everything in there that came with them. Look at this, we got all our tag teams. Look, here's the Road Warriors with Paul Ellering over here. There's a uh, gorgeous Jimmy Garvin, Steve Regal, and Precious. Look at that. I never see Precious specifically. I never see her anywhere. Um, but even better than that, they got the ring, the Battle Royal play sets, with everything that came with it. Like all the figures are here, the ref, all the gear. Um, look at this. Look at this. And he says that the ring inside. Uh, is in great shape. He doesn't think it's ever been used because the ropes are still like tied and everything. They haven't even been put on this. So he's asking two grand for the whole set. But this is an amazing way to like scoop up all of this in such good shape. My God. And it's like, I never, I, I very rarely see this anyway, but like I've never seen all this with the card backs and the paperwork and the boxes and all of the entrance attire. This is beautiful. Man. So this is a cool random thing to find. Um, this is He-Man's Thunder Punch from the New Adventures of He-Man toy line. Uh, this thing is a role play toy. It would clip to your wrist and then it would make punching and sound effects when you would swing your hand around. And in classic Mattel synergy, if you look at your vintage New Adventures Thunder Punch He-Man, if you have it, <laughs> 
This is actually sculpted onto the figure's arm. So, you know, that way they can make sure we can sell this as a role play thing too. And get it. This is cool. I never run into these. I think the last time I saw one of these is when I photographed it for the book. 25. It's a little scuffed up, but it's still very cool. I wonder if it works. I guess that's the question. See, right up there. You see that? Pocket Power Glow Bones. Carded. Amazing. I love the Pocket Power line. There's another one down there, too. Glow Bones is probably the most famous, the most sought after of the batch, because, of course, he's a little glow-in-the-dark skeleton action figure. But seeing it carded is pretty cool. Looks like, what is that? Two... Is that 209 dollars 210 I think is what that says. So he's pricey. I never see those carded, though. Lots of amazing turtle stuff over here. Look at these carded or boxed turtle trolls. So cool. So cool. And then scale tail. This is such a good one. This is such a great figure in this line. What do they got? 75 complete. So good. So good. Oh, yeah. There we go. These ones are cool. They're kind of like a rock'em sock'em. Yeah, they came with their little guns, and this is how you would make them punch. See? <laughs> yeah, and then they got the chest thing, so like you know, and then the heads pop up. Very rock'em sock'em style. Real fun. These old micro machines play sets are so cool. Look at this one. Deep sea drive through. That is amazing. If you've been looking for a full collection of Flintstones the Movie Toys, here it is at the Great Ohio Toy Show. Look at it. I did not know they made so much stuff. I don't remember these little pebbles. Pebbles World. I remember these guys. Cheap, 10 bucks a piece. 15 for regular Fred. Here's Dino. Barney, they got some bendums. They did bendums. Wow. Yeah, these are crazy. I didn't realize they did like a whole separate series of pebbles toys. And then look over here. Look at that. That one is completely different. Bronto crane. And then there's like a play set. That is wild. They got the cars. Here's some heavy hitters in here. Half court, sandstorm. Some other half courts. Got a hot spot. Oh, that's amazing. Wow. Oh, it does say tail on actually. Oh, does it? Okay. Well, they'll go with tail. Thundercats prototypes. That's totally insane. Is it? Ooh, this is. Yeah, this is one of the later, the second series, Stone Protectors. Yeah, because, see, here's the first series of the same guy. Check that out. That's awesome. You don't see the second series stuff as often. So much neon over here. Look at, look at all those Toxic Crusaders. First of all, amazing carded pieces. Look at that, unpunched. Radiation Ranger. There's Junkyard. I would never use that pencil. Headbanger. <laughs> Look at a puzzle. Oh, cool. But these vehicles, like, I don't, I need, I definitely need this one. So what we got here? The hideous hovercraft. 150. Another is a reused Ninja Turtles vehicle. That is pretty amazing. Oh my god. Sorry, we're old school. Cash or PayPal, that's all we got. And then this is great too. 50 on this. Oh, that's so awesome. Oh my god, this is incredible. Wow, <laughs> these chairs are so good. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what I would do with anything like that, but I love that. I love those so much. Yo, check out these carded biker mice from Mars in here. It's the Sports Bros. <laughs> That's amazing. 
about these licensed Play-Doh sets. So you got your Ghostbusters Play-Doh sets. A little Ecto that goes with that. Look at that, it came with glow-in-the-dark Play-Doh. And then, Silverhawks Play-Doh set. That's crazy. I love it. So get those Kenner crossovers, right? Yeah, so these are great. So these are, these are like what Ed gave me earlier. Heroes of the World Fighter, which is just this weird mashup of Dungeons and Dragons and Ninja Turtles. It's the craziest thing. Yeah, look at the splinter. What, like, oh wow. That's so bizarre, but like in the best way. Like this one is just straight up a Dungeons and Dragons figure just repainted. Oh, look at that, that's so insane. This is their shredder. Incredible. Those are so cool. Oh man, there's a bunch of Action Force stuff in here with the Red Shadows, Mutron. So I do have, I do have these guys here. There's Kraken, which is awesome. There's several up here. This, this right here though, Skeletron, is one that I need still. He's amazing. He got 75 on him. It is something that I really want to add to my collection. And to go right along with those, on the back wall back there, we've got a Robo Skull. That's the vintage Robo Skull, which is amazing. I got the newer one, the Kickstarter uh, on pre-order, which I'm super hyped for, but it would be really cool to get a vintage one too. It's amazing. It's not an item you see very often. Oh, here's a early WWF Superstars two-pack. Shawn Michaels and Vader. Sweet. Love these old bone-crunching action figures. What do we got on here? 50. One of only 10,000 made. 10,000's a lot. <laughs> It's crazy, you just walk out of one building and you walk into another and there's even more stuff. And then out there, food trucks and everything. Look at this. From one building to the next, more toys. It's everywhere. So I run into this booth that has these big tubs that is filled with vintage vehicles for like two of my favorite brands, Masters of the Universe and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Specifically, I was looking for some Ninja Turtles vehicles while out doing my toy hunting. And it's because I need to photograph specific things for a specific project that I'm working on specifically. Um, so as I'm digging through here, I kind of mentioned some of the things that I'm looking for and the dealer's like, I got you, man, I have that. Man, there's a big old bucket of Turtles vehicles here too. Oh, you know what I need? I need the flag for the cheapskate. Do you have one? Do you... I've been, I was hoping to find like a boxed cheapskate here somewhere and I haven't seen anybody with one, but everybody's always missing the flag for their cheapskate. Yeah, it's including... Like it's not connected to the pole. It's right. Like, it's also got a little wear. Oh, okay, okay. But you've got it. You might be able to slide it on there if it's got like a little, like how this one has the hole on it, slide it on there. Ah! Yeah, let me see here real quick. Let's see if I can slide it. And then what's what's the best looking cheapskate you have? That works. Yeah, that works really well. It's funny, I was shooting all those vehicles with the last guy I was at, and one of the things he was missing was the flag with his cheapskate. So I was like, I still need the, like, the cheapskate's one of the last things I need a good, good, uh, good shot of. One, one of these two? One of these two, yeah, these both look pretty good. No one's missing like stickers on the front or stuff. I don't have the seal for it here. His little flag would go right here. Yeah, so when I would just need the shield, but otherwise, yeah. that's in good shape. Okay. How much you want for this guy? 15. You got it, man. 
I'll take it. Thank you so much. So I'm walking around with Spencer and it's actually getting kind of close towards the end of the show and I'm doing my best to like get through all of the buildings. And uh, Stina's not with me, she's back at the table. So while I'm out hunting with Spencer, I spot something and I get so excited because it's exactly what Stina hunts. It's exactly what she was hoping to find here. I found two cases of Disney Vinylmation figures. And the price was right on these. Stina has no idea that I'm buying these for. We're gonna go surprise her. Spencer's behind the camera. We're gonna go surprise your mom. Is that cool? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Okay, right, we're gonna take this to your mom. Okay. Here we go. How many people? Surprise! Oh! <laughs> this for you. Yeah, we can cut it. It was a couple buildings down that way. Yeah. I got a bundle deal. I bought just both cases, so. They couldn't. They couldn't guarantee what all was in all of them. Like I, I looked at. Like I don't recognize any of these. Um, oh, that's cool, though. So, and like, you'll see when you open it up, but okay. it looks like they're kind of mixed. So, okay. I mean, but I figured this was still a really good price for all of this stuff, so. That You're welcome. This is for all your help. I love it. I love it. I'm so glad. I don't know, like, this is one of those moments where, like, I was so happy to find something that she was excited for more than finding something for myself. Um, I guess that's that whole spirit of giving thing, right? But I, I, I love that because that's one of the things that's the passions that we can share together when we come to these shows. And she's always looking out for things for me, so I love it when I can find something that I know is going to excite her as well. I'm so glad I ran into those. I'm so glad those were still sitting there this late in the day at the show. There's 20 minutes of the show left. My camera is dying. I have like three buildings over here. Like one, two, three buildings. I haven't even been in these yet. Uh, just run through them real quick just to see. I just, I gotta see. This place is nuts. Oh, carded Mega Man figures, holy cow. So amazing. I love this line. You just don't run into it very often. It's so good. All right, things are winding down here. Um, I know that I didn't see near enough of this show, but I just gotta, I just gotta complete Ninja Force Ninja Cycle to replace mine at home. This one's got the rip cord and everything. It's been fun, and I'm just gonna scour this place as much as I can until this closes down. Maybe. Maybe I'll find some more stuff. You never know. You never know. So I'm literally, I'm like getting ready to like head back to my table because we're in the last kind of 30 minutes of the show. We got to close down. When I run across a booth that is just legitimately filled with grails. Okay, this booth is filled with international, international releases. Look at this. Where's a T, Titano? Oh my God, that's incredible. Look at this, look at this. <gasps> oh. So incredibly cool. Oh my gosh, these are incredible. Let's see, okay, let me see if I can remember. So, Platino? Yeah. And what? Destructor? Those are the names, right? Yeah, yeah I was right. Platino, Destructor. Platino so cool. I have, I have Felinor and Techno. Those are the only ones I have. But they're so, I love these. So these are actually factory heads from Top Toys. This is amazing. Incredible, thank you so much. Oh, and this is the, the Ular or whatever. That's right, isn't that what everybody's calling the... It's like a run of He-Man, the Savage He-Man, or people are calling him Ular, but look, he's got the Skeletor feet. Top toys. And then there's 
an actual grail piece for me right there. Camo Con. Top Toys Camo Con. Oh my God, look at this. Can you believe this? They're just, there's two of them just sitting right here. Ugh. One day, one day. I mean, you can see they're not cheap, but one day. Ha! Ah, I swear, like, Camo Con, the Argentinian exclusive top toy Masters of the Universe figure. He is my number one grail. Throwing that out there, that's the thing I want the most for my collection. And I think the thing that's so crazy about this is it's not like he's been completely out of reach in the sense that I've been running into him at so many of these shows because there's always somebody from Argentina, it seems like, set up at a booth that is promoting this amazing stuff, selling this amazing stuff. It's just, man, it's not an affordable item. It's expensive. It's gonna be one of those things where like, if I really want it, I know that I'm gonna get it at the right price. And it might even be one of those things where like I really save up and I, I know that that's the money that I'm going to use for it. Maybe, maybe that's, maybe that's an end goal for this series. I don't know, but ugh, I want a camo con. <laughs> With that being said, my friends, the Greater Ohio Toy Show is coming to a close, and it was an absolutely amazing experience. I want to give a very special thanks, of course, to every single person that came up to my table uh, to meet me, to get the book signed, to pick up a copy of the book. Massive shout out to my friends at Kaiju Days, Otaku America, for giving me the booth space. Uh, which was much, much appreciated for the show. And of course, every single person, all of my friends that I saw there, and my wife and my family for being super supportive and helping me out. With that said, you should definitely get to the show if you ever have the opportunity to do so. There's so much here. You are bound to find something that you want to add to your collection. I know that I did, so let's get into my haul. So let's start with those two cases of Vinylmations that I picked up for Stina. And Stina's gonna join me to talk about those. I feel like that's only <laughs> appropriate for this particular uh, haul. This is your haul. My haul. From the show. So first of all, how surprised were you when you saw me walk up with those? Extremely. <laughs> you had already been looking for Vinylmations, I had, right? But that building I just happened to not go into. And that's the thing. So like, I didn't even know it was there. Seven different buildings. It's like impossible to see it all, I feel like. But also because of the situation we were in, like mm -hmm. I had a table, so we didn't get to cha a chance to go out together at all. No. Like it, if I was away from the table, you were at the table mm -hmm. to let me know if I needed to run back for any reason. So right. I was really excited because Spencer and I were out when we, we saw those and I'm like, oh my God, she didn't see these. This nope. is perfect. This is perfect. Um, so let's talk about what did we get in those cases? Like, first of all, a lot, a lot. We were, uh, I almost got, I got two full sets and one set. I am missing one and I only got two duplicates. That's right. Yeah. So we got two cases and you know, they kind of told me that things were a little mixed up so they couldn't guarantee that it was like full sets of exactly what was on the box, but you yeah. almost ended up getting two full waves almost three almost three, three. full waves almost three full unbelievable. waves unbelievable i had to look up the other wave to see so what you got was... some stuff that don't even go to these boxes yes it's so yes. cool what are some of your favorites that we got in there Ooh, the cast member one that is just exclusive to the cast members we got that with yeah. the tin yeah i wanted to talk about that for a minute because i think that's one of the things that was really surprising about these boxes there were extra things thrown mm -hmm. in so we got this tin that she's talking about. We also got two like display stands, mm -hmm. which I don't know if these were like retailer display stands or what. They actually say Vinylmation on them. They're very cool. They're cool. That cast member tin is really neat because this clearly was given out to the cast members to introduce them to Vinylmations yes. because it's got a little insert that explains what Vinylmations are. Like they're introducing them for the first time. So that's a cool piece of mm -hmm. history for this toy line yeah. that you're collecting. Well, it was also cool because uh, whoever owned these before left receipts in there. Yeah, so, so there's so like original just, purchase yeah. receipts for all this stuff for whatever cast member was buying these. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Holiday version, 
there is a uh, Valentine's Day one that's got a whole bunch of hearts on it. On one side of it, it says all the I love yous and stuff like that. And on the other side, it, I can't remember exactly. It says like you stink and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, you stink. It's funny. Like, yeah. So that that one's a lot of a lot of fun. And then there's a ghost one where Mickey is dressed up as a ghost. Yeah. So I really <laughs> yeah. liked that one. Um, and then from a different one of the sets, there's a glass of water with a straw. <laughs> That's what's it's so fun about so it. Crazy. Like if you have never really seen the Vinylmations before, I think what's so cool about them is so every one is designed by a different artist. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's a blank slate where they all get this little vinyl Mickey body and then they do whatever they want with it. So sometimes it's Disney characters, sometimes mm -hmm. it's theme park based, sometimes it's just the artist having fun, fun. and doing whatever they want. Mm -hmm. So like the cup of water with a straw. In with it. a straw in it. <laughs> And then there's the uh, black, the black one that's from that he, he's just eyes. Yes. And on the back of it, it's from the is, Runaway Brain movie. Yes. Yeah, Runaway Brain. <laughs> my brain's going blank. Your brain is running away. <laughs> yeah, my brain's <laughs> running away. Um, oh, there's all there's of them. There's too many for me to say that there wasn't one that I was like, oh, I wish I hadn't, don't have that one. I think that's one of the things that's cool though, is like, we didn't really get any doubles. Like you got mm -hmm. a bunch of brand new stuff for your collection. So this, yeah. was, this was awesome. I'm really glad that I was able to find this. I am too, and I'm keeping the boxes too. Keeping the boxes the too, big like boxes. a true collector. I can't throw away cases for old stuff either. <laughs> Fun. They're amazing. They're, they're fun. Well, I'm so. glad we found you something at this show. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> I want to start by going over some of the freebies that were gifted to me from viewers of this channel, starting with this amazing little bootleg figure of The Rock. It's hilarious. I, the Croc. This is definitely The Croc, but I love it. And of course, as you guys saw, my good buddy Ed from Ed's Retro Geek Out gifted me these two amazing bootlegs. We got the the cool little D&D style turtle, and we got the Turtley Gang. Uh, I've always wanted a Turtley Gang figure. I absolutely love it. These are amazing pieces for the collection. And then a massive shout out to Clay Navarro, all the way from Argentina, who had all those grail items because he gifted me these amazing Fuerza T keychains. These are actual production heads from Top Toy. Apparently they just had a bunch of heads and now they're keychains. It's unbelievable. So I got Platino and Destructor here, which is funny, I don't even have these figures, but now I have their heads. All right, and let's get into the things that I purchased at the show, starting with, I got a new Ninja Cycle, the G.I. Joe Ninja Force Ninja Cycle. Now, the thing is, is like I already had one of these and you probably saw me get it in a previous toy hunt, but that one broke. A lot of people warned me how fragile they were. That thing took a dive off my shelf onto carpet and blew up into pieces. So I got a new one. This one is in good shape. I mentioned the ripcord. The ripcord's like attached to it, which is really nice, but it looks great. So it's gonna replace the one I already had in my Ninja Force collection. And speaking of vintage vehicles, that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cheapskate, as I mentioned earlier, was something I was looking to pick up, not only because I'm shooting it for a project, but I did wanna have the cheapskate in my collection as well. So I was, Really thrilled that this dealer was able to help me score this right here. Um, and yes, uh, it is supposed to have a shield, but don't worry, I've already got that taken care of. So I picked up that New Adventures of He-Man Thunder Punch roleplay accessory. And this is something I was so excited to find. This is one of those items that most people would look at this and not even realize that this is a He-Man toy. In fact, when I first showed it to my wife, she was like, oh, Silverhawks, right? That's, I see that. I can see why this would look like Silverhawks, but no, this is the Thunder Punch accessory. Uh, and as I mentioned, one of the things that's so cool about this is like the Thunder Punch He-Man in that toy line had this thing sculpted on his wrist and they made an actual uh, role play accessory for it. I've never owned it before. I don't think I've really run into it while hunting before. So I was very happy uh, to get this. I brought it home, I cleaned it up, I put batteries in it. It works. Here's how it works. You do punching. It barely fits my wrist, by the way. But yeah, you punch. So, and it makes sound effects. So go punch your brother in the face and you get cool thunder punch sound effects. Uh, this thing's amazing and I'm actually really happy that I found this. There's a Skeletor one too, so I gotta get that on my list. I need the Skeletor one. 
to go with my new adventures collection. Yeah. And the final thing that I picked up is honestly my purchase of the day, my favorite thing that I bought. And the funny thing is, is I never even got this on camera. But this was at the Otaku America booth staring at me all day. And it's something that I've been after to add to my collection for a long time. And the guys gave me an incredible deal on it at the end of the show. It's the LJN Vintage Stripe from the Gremlins line. I have always wanted this oversized Gremlin. I think he is an amazing sculpt. Such a cool looking figure. Uh, and he is now permanently on display with my other big figs over here in my studio. Um, man, it's funny, like I said, you didn't even see me look at this throughout the video. I bought this at the end of the day because it was still in the booth. I was packing, I saw it, and I was like, man, that's the thing. That's what I've been looking at all weekend. This is what I want. I'm so glad I brought him home. Sorry, I'm gonna probably give him a bath and throw him in the water. I hope that's okay. Hey, thank you all so very much for joining me for another episode of Toy Hunting with Pixel Dan. I hope you really enjoyed seeing the greater Ohio toy show through my eyes. I know that there were a lot of videos going up the weekend right after. So you saw, you probably saw a lot of this stuff already through other YouTubers, but I really hope that I brought something different to the table or that you guys enjoy seeing it through different, uh, different eyes, right? That's kind of what I'm going for, different perspectives. We're all looking for different things. So I think that keeps it fun and interesting. I wanna thank you all so much for continuing to watch this series and for helping this new channel grow. Uh, if you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button and hitting that like button if you enjoyed the video. Those little things do go a long way to help the channel grow and reach more people, and that really means a lot to me. What also means a lot to me are all of my supporters over on Patreon. Thank you guys so very much for the extra support, and stay tuned, more toy hunting is coming right here next Saturday and every Saturday after that. Until next time, my friends.